Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure and the honor to present you one of the most popular discontinued and spoken about perfumes in the world. This is Aqua di Gio Essenza, as you can see here, Eau de Parfum. Essenza is a very popular perfume from Armani. It has been released in 2012 and unfortunately in 2017, according to my data, it has been discontinued in order to leave space to the profumo. So um, now I have uh, managed to get a bottle, a huge bottle. It's a 180 milliliter or 608 Oz. You saw in the shorts when I sprayed it, if you would like to hear more about this scent in comparison with the others on the market, then please stay tuned. A lot of people have expected that with the launch of Eau de Parfum, so Aqua di Gio Eau de Parfum, the Essenza will be uh, brought back to the market, let's say. But unfortunately, I can tell you that that has not been the case. I have here a bottle of Essenza. I got it from a perfumery in Italy. I was very lucky to get it from there because otherwise you are just paying a ton of money. Now I'm going to show it to you closer. As you can see, this is a new full bottle. It has uh, all the content inside. Since 2012, since this one was produced, it has not been used. So I was the person who sprayed it for the first time. You saw it in the short. I will put the short here. So, see, never sprayed. I noticed that they both have this base. So see here you have Profumo and here you have Essenza. They have the similar design and they both have base in this uh, shiny plaquette, if I call it this way. It's a plastic, but uh, it's similar. I'm gonna spray now a bit on the strip. And another thing which they don't do anymore, look, this is a magnetic cap and it's the same as the amouages. If you put it wrong, it will not close. It needs to be in place with the logo uh, well put in place. So that is something very nice. So Armani in 2012, we're still doing this. So I'm gonna spray now. The sprayer is really nice. So yeah, this is a fresh aquatic scent. The perfumer behind this beauty is uh, Alberto Morillas, like uh, for the others from the Aqua di Gio line. I will go a bit through the notes, spray also the other ones and then eventually tell you how I think Essenza is. And I have a very big confession for you guys. So wait until the end because I will tell you uh, something that most of the people I think would not expect. So in top notes you'll have Cascalone, Bergamot and Grapefruit. In middle notes you'll have basil, sage, jasmine, and paradison. And in base notes, you'll have ambrox, atlas, cedar, patchouli, and vetiver. So the smell, if you know aqua di Gio, like profumo, parfum, eau de parfum, eau de toilette, whatever flanker it is, if you know those smells, Essenza smells exactly like, like those ones. And it's a very, very pleasant, concentrated, slightly smoky, slightly darker smell, if I can say so. The longevity for this perfume, as you would expect for an 11 years old perfume, is very good. It will project, it will stay on clothes or skin, like literally the whole day, things which I cannot say about the other flankers. And the first time uh, since I am wearing an Aqua di Gio, so I was trying the Eau de Toilette, I was trying the Eau de Parfum, I tried the Profumo, and my wife didn't even mention, like, ah, oh, yeah, okay, whatever, enjoy. But when I was wearing the Essenza, so this bad boy here, my wife has mentioned four times 
how good I smell. She was coming close to me. Wow, you smell so good. I was passing by on in the lobby. You smell so good. We were outside walking. You smell so good. So in projection, it's totally the king of Aqua Di Gio. In longevity, literally, I can smell it on the clothes where I sprayed it the other day also now. And on the skin also will be there for, uh, for a few hours. Now, this is a 180 milliliter bottle. Yeah, As you can see, it is still transparent. It has not changed the color too much. It doesn't have impurities inside. It has seen contact with oxygen, contact with air due to spraying. A few days ago but if this perfume was like used if it was like I don't know one quarter used or something like that and somebody would say I sell you the bottle I tell you honestly guys I would stay away from it this is a citrusy fresh aquatic scent and citrusy uh, scents citrusy smells they tend to expire quicker than other type of top notes used for perfumery. So when you have strong base notes, the perfume will last longer. When you have weaker base notes and citrusy in the top, then they tend to last less. This is according to the batch, which I will put somewhere here, uh, was produced in April 2012. This scent was launched in 2012. So this tells me this is the first batch ever of Essenza. It's really nice. It's very pleasant. It's very uh, aqua di Gio on steroids, if you can call it this way. And I like it very much. But there are 11 years, guys, since this scent was on the market. And you don't know how it was stored. I mean, in my case, I bought it from a perfumery. I have the guarantee that if it's not good, I can send it back. The top notes are a bit off. On this bottle which I have so you don't feel anymore this fresh bergamot the grapefruit like they don't pop so much as they should the perfume is still good it's still uh, usable it's still pleasant it still doesn't uh, smell bad or off so I'm happy to have it and I will happily use it as much as I can because it's a huge bottle but uh, let me tell you, I paid for this perfume a very fair price. If you go on eBay and you see for the 75 milliliter 200 euro or 200 dollars, 300 dollars for the big bottle like I have here, I saw 500 euro. Guys, what are we doing here? So much money for such an old perfume, which is a risk because you don't know if it will be good or not. And if it's not good, what will you do? Send it back to a private seller on eBay? You can. This perfume smells really good. Now I'm gonna spray the parfum, which I recently reviewed. And thank you very much for watching that video. It's now at 26,000 views, which is unbelievable. And thank you very much for watching that video. I will spray it now here. And then at the end of the video, I will smell each one of them and give you my conclusion. No metallic cap. Why? Why Armani? Why no metallic cap? If you could do it in 2012, why can't you do it in 2023? Yeah, it's very nice. Parfum, it's very nice. It has a fresher character than Essenza. It's very fresh, very sparkling. And yeah, you could see that is the latest one from the range. The only problem that I have with it is that it's not a big performer, let's call it this way, but you can use five, six sprays. There are the refills, which are big and uh, you, you can extend the life of your scent, let's say, because the bottle is refillable. You can refill it as many times as you want and you'll have a fresh take on the Aqua Di Gio. It's very nice and fresh, but nowhere near Essenza. The star of the show, the star of the Aqua Di Gio uh, line, the perfume that keeps Aqua Di Gio an actual scent, the Profumo. Essenza has been discontinued in order to leave space for Profumo. And also Profumo was getting very popular and Essenza didn't have uh, big sales anymore. I read this online. I don't know how much is reality or not, because it's not like Armani will come and tell you what is the story, but uh, that's what's going on online. So. I'm going to spray now Profumo. 
Profumo is just fantastic, guys. Profumo is, in my opinion, after smelling all these variants of Aqua Di Gio so far, the closest you would get in today's world to Essenza. So it's very nice. It's very thick. It's very rich. It's a rich perfume. It's a complex, fresh, oriental perfume, if I can call it this way. And it has a very good longevity too. Now I have them all three in here. I will tell you a few thoughts still. I will compare them and then go to the conclusion. Essenza has been discontinued since 2017. This means that even if you get a batch which was created in the last year of production, you will still have about six years since this perfume is on the market. On the box, it says 24 months. Here you see 24. Back in the day, Armani were also uh, writing on the package the volume of alcohol and for uh, Essenza is 80%. This means 20% of uh, perfume oil and water, which is very close to where Leighton was before the reformulation, so 79. So I can say that this Eau de Parfum is very strong, what you would also expect. Now, getting into the matter of buying so old perfume. We all know that everybody is saying that the older batches of Aventus are like the holy grail. You get that one and then you can die happily because you got the holy grail. Aventus is a citrusy scent. Pineapple, citrusy, aromatic, okay, but mainly citrusy scent. Essenza is a citrusy scent. Imagination is a citrusy scent. Aventus Cologne is a citrusy scent. Bear with me, I will tell you where I'm going with this. If you have a perfume which has on the package 24 months is okay. 36 months is okay. You store it well. Maybe four years is okay. But guys, six, seven, eight, nine years, ten years for a citrusy scent that is not okay. And you can keep it, I don't know, in the fridge. But you keep it in the fridge, then you take it out, then you have heat variation, then the perfume oils are not very happy. All of these things will affect the performance of your scent. If you purchase a new scent now, a Cedra Bose, a Profumo, Imagination, do me a favor and try to use it in the given time as uh, quick as possible. Uh, and so you can avoid owing an expired scent. So I have some tips for you. Avoid heat and direct sunlight. So don't put it in the bathroom where the sun is all the time. Then avoid shaking the bottle. When you spray, don't, I don't know, shake the bottle. Do not decant and use the decant. So I like to share to decant and send to people. Please guys, use those decants very fast because the moment the oils have contact with the air, they will start degrading and then the scent profile will get lost and then you'll either not recognize the scent or you'll be upset that it doesn't smell how you thought it should smell. Avoid moisture and humidity and avoid temperature fluctuations. That means also if you consider that if you keep them in the fridge and then you spray, that's also cold, warm, cold, warm. So keep them in a cool temperature probably in a drawer if you have with a door so they don't have the heat but not in the bathroom. Two Essenza smells awesome guys and it will last literally the whole day and some, and some on the clothes. But the top notes, even if this perfume has never been sprayed, has never been in contact with air before, the top notes are not very fresh. And when I spray it, I leave it 10-15 minutes and then it starts to shine when it goes into the base, when it goes into the middle and base notes. That brings me to the conclusion of this whole video right now. Guys, if you care about your well-being and if you care about your money, stop stressing yourself on finding Essenza, on finding the older bottles of Aventus or finding some old batches of Cedra Boise or something similar because you don't know how they were stored. You don't know who kept those bottles and in what conditions. So this bottle here for me is a very lucky barn find and I will use it with pleasure. But also for my nose, somehow the top notes are not very fresh, even if it's 
an unused and unopened box and perfume let's call it this way so if i would be in your shoes wherever you are in the world hola mi amigos wherever you are in the world stop stressing too much about finding a senza paying a big cash for a bottle make somebody rich just because they had the opportunity to purchase this one or have it since who knows when get yourself profumo guys for me these two perfumes don't have so much difference to justify the stress of getting this one armani discontinued the senza because profumo was performing well in sales and people uh, liked profumo more now i will go a bit through the uh, testers so this is a senza yeah it's absolutely fantastic it smells exactly how I remember Aqua Di Gio from my OG Eau de Toilette in the past. Aqua Di Gio Parfum, it's very nice and pleasant, but more fresh, so more into this fresh direction. And Profumo, it's literally the same. Guys, it's literally the same as a Senza for my nose. I'm no expert, I'm not claiming to be an expert, I'm just a perfume lover which shares his opinion. And my opinion is stop killing yourself trying to find the sense up which is discontinued and it's a big risk that you are taking when you buy a bottle and get yourself profumo and enjoy life it will be cheaper it will be more easily available and it will give you the same satisfaction i would say and if the performance is not so good as essenza uh, is offering then so what spray some more it's available you can get yourself another bottle stop thinking that you should get an essenza because those ones were the holy grail in aqua di Gio line take care of your money and your finances and your well-being find yourself a profumo spray it and be happy so i give this uh, essenza a 9 out of 10 the same as for profumo because they are basically the same we the only mention that essenza will project like crazy so this in my opinion since i am testing aqua di Gio's, is the biggest projecting perfume of the line but unfortunately it's discontinued i am lucky to have one i bought it from a shop in italy uh, these things are very rare so i hope you enjoyed this quite a long description of the essenza in comparison with what you have now on the market from armani and i hope to see you soon on the channel again stay healthy Talk soon. Bye-bye.